Hi, it's Miriam Sorrell for Mouthful Train Vegan Recipes and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful ricotta cheese out of soya beans and it's going to be made in the almost exact same way that dairy ricotta is made. It's going to curdle and it's going to be beautiful. It's real vegan ricotta. Before we get into the recipe, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Ingredients for the soya ricotta are 120 grams of soya beans soaked overnight and dehulled, one and a half teaspoons of sea salt, three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, one liter of water. These ingredients yielded a basket and a half of ricotta cheese. You will need a high speed blender and the ricotta cheese basket and you'll find the link for the ricotta basket in the description below. Having soaked the um, soya beans overnight, what you want to do is get them in your hands, pinch them between your fingers and you'll be left with the hulls. The hulls you discard and you work with the soya beans now. Spoon in your raw soya beans into your high speed blender. Pour in your water on top. And process. It'll be nice and smooth by the time you've finished with it. There will be a bit of a froth on the top but don't worry about that. I'd like to remind you not to consume this milk at this point. It's not fit for consumption. Anyway, put it straight through your cheese bag and start squeezing it and continue squeezing. We're going to have to be a little bit patient with this. It will take some minutes. You'll be left with a pulp also known as okara. There are many things you can do with that okara if you google. There you have it. Place your milk on the heat. Stir gently and let it reach almost a boiling point. When that happens, you'll see that it's quite thick. Pour in your lemon juice. Add your salt and gently stir it and then let it rest for half an hour or so until it cools down and you'll see these lovely curds that have formed. Now you're going to place a muslin cloth in a sieve which will fit into a suitable bowl and then you pour your wonderful curds into the muslin. You then get all four corners of the cloth, put them together and you can see the whey coming out. Look how much whey we've collected from this and then you open your cloth and you'll find your wonderful curds over there, your ricotta cheese in effect and you just spoon it into your cheese basket or baskets as is the case over here because I managed to get one and a half out. Place it in a bowl and refrigerate overnight. This will allow excess whey to drain out and for the ricotta to firm up nicely for you. And now it's the next day and I'm up turning the ricotta onto a plate. It's taken on a lovely shape and a wonderful texture too. I love drizzling extra virgin olive oil on top and I'm just cutting it just now. The texture is sublime. Just take a look at that. The curds and it's just got a wonderful consistency. Enjoy. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, give this the thumbs up and join me here again next week. <laughs>